This is a Sutotal production. Hello surveyors, this is our third video for chapter 5 practice. Um, so in this one we're, we're going to be practicing a lot with molar concentrations. So for this one it says, um, let's just kick it off. So it says here if you have an 87, 87 grams of sodium chloride dissolved in, in water to give a 0.87 liter solution, what's the resulting molar concentration? Now remember molar concentration is talking about moles over liters, right? Moles of solute over liters of solution. And so we have this right off the bat, the liters of solution, but we don't have the moles. We have a mass amount. So we actually need to take sodium chloride and figure out what its molar mass is. All right, so let's get our hand down to periodic table. It's gonna save our lives quite a few times. So sodium, let's see, sodium here is 22.99. And then chlorine is going to be 35.45. All right, so when I add that up, I get 58.44 grams per mole. So if I take that 87 grams of sodium chloride, I can use that molar mass to convert it because I know one mole of sodium chloride is 58.44 grams. And so that means I'm just taking the 87 and I'm dividing it by the 80, 58.44. What does that give me? 1.49. All right, and so then to get the molar concentration I asked for, I need to take the mole amount, divide it by the liter amount. So I'm saying 1.49 moles of sodium chloride divided by 0.87 liters. What's that going to give me? Divide by 0.87. That gives me 1.71. So that's 1.71 molar NaCl. So that would be our answer. All right, that's our molar concentration. Uh, next up, it says if you have 9.4 moles of glucose dissolved to form a 1,450 milliliter solution, what's the solution's molar concentration? So yet again, remember, molar concentration is moles over liters. We have the moles. We have 9.4 moles of glucose, but we don't have a liter amount. We have a milliliter amount. So we know that 1,450 milliliters, right, if we convert it, we know there's 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So that really just means that we have 1.45 liters, okay? So I'm going to take that 9.4 moles. I'm going to divide it by the 1.45 liters. And what does that give me? 9.4 divided by 1.45. That gives me 6.48. 6.48 molar of glucose. So that's our molar concentration it's asking for. All right, that one was a little bit faster because we didn't have to do molar mass stuff. All right, next up, number three, it says, if 36 grams of potassium hydroxide is dissolved to form a 0.75 milliliter solution, a 0.75 mil, what is the resulting molar concentration? That's super small. <laughs> that's what that is. Uh, that's a super small solution so this is going to be large and in charge so let's see 36 grams of potassium hydroxide that's koh so what's the molar mass of koh right one mole of koh is what so let's look at potassium right here at 39.1 so 39.1 plus hydrogen which is one point oops sorry plus hydrogen which is 1.01 plus oxygen, <coughs> oh that was weird, which is 16, so it's going to be 56.11, so it's going to be 56.11 grams of KOH, right, is one mole, so that would give me a mole amount of something, something small, so 36, something less than 1, 36 divided by 56.11, so that's 0.64, so that's 0 0.64 moles of KOH, right? And then that's a milliliter solution. So 0 0.75 milliliters, right? Because we know that there's a thousand milliliters in one liter. That's a super small amount, man. So 0 0.75 divided by a thousand, 7.5 times 10 to the negative four. So I'm gonna divide that 7.5 times 10 to the negative four liters. This is gonna be astronomical. 
853.3 molar KOH. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, you're not gonna make a, you're not gonna make that high of a concentration. So there is obviously a typo. I think that was meant to be 0.75 liters, not milliliters. But anyway, so. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to do it the way it says it. That's not humanly possible. So let's move on. Number four. What volume in liters of a 1.65 molar solution is required for 2.85 moles of hydrochloric acid, HCl? So we know that if it's 1.65 molar, that's the same thing as saying that there's 1.65 moles of HCl for every one liter of solution. Now, it also says that you have the 2.85 moles of hydrochloric acid. So let's look at it this way. If we have 2.85 moles of HCl, to know what volume we need for to make this concentration, you're really just going to be taking this concentration and flipping it, right? You have 1.65 moles of HCl for every one liter, and it wants the answer in liters. So guess what? Doing it this way allows it to cancel. So you're saying 2.85 divide it by the 1.65 and you're going to 1.73 so that would be 1.73 liters okay so that's how we got our answer here it wants to know what volume in milliliters of a 10.2 molar solution is required for 0.95 moles of phosphoric acid um, so it's kind of a similar thing here right you've got the starting mole amount and they want to know what volume you need to make this concentration so you have this mole amount what volume do I need to make a solution that is this concentration so let's start with a 0.95 moles and we know that that is the same thing as 10.2 moles over a liter right but I could also say that it's 10.2 moles under one liter right all of that's the concentration Okay. Now that will give my answer in liters, but you notice they want the answer in milliliters, so let's do a conversion in here. One liter is 1,000 milliliters. So what do we get here? We're going to have to say, uh-oh, what did I do? I'm going to say 0.95 times 1,000, and then divide that by 10.2, and we get 93.14 milliliters. All right, so if you had 0.95 moles, you would need to make a solution that's nine, roughly 93 milliliters, right? That would give you this concentration for the phosphoric acid. Number six says how many moles of calcium nitrate need to be added to water to give a molar concentration of 3.5? Um, so what it's saying is you have a solution that is 3.5 molar, which is 3.5 moles for every one liter. Right? You need to make that concentration, and it needs to have this volume, 2.75 liters. So if you take that 2.75 liters, and you say, all right, well, to know the, the moles I need, I just take this concentration and say, all right, well, 3.5 moles in one liter, right? That would allow the liters to cancel here, and I would really just say I need 2.75 times 3.5. And what does that give me? 9.63, so I need 9.63 moles of calcium nitrate. All right, like so. And then I'm betting number seven is similar. All right, now what does this one do? It wants how many moles of lithium acetate need to be added to water to give a molar concentration of 1.25 molar in a 350 milliliter solution. So remember, what do we have? We have 1.25 molar, which is 1.25 moles for every one liter. And then we also have 350 milliliters. Now milliliters and liters don't go to into each other, so I need to convert this. I know there's a thousand milliliters in one liter, so that would actually give me 0 0.35 liters. Okay, so here's what I got. I got this concentration and I got that liter amount. So now I can multiply these two together like so because I know it's 1.25 moles for every one liter. Okay, and that's what it wants. How many moles? Well, you notice what happens here. The liters cancel. So I'm stuck with moles of lithium acetate. So 1.25 times the 0.35 will give me, I'm going to just round it 0.44 moles of lithium acetate. L-I-C-H-3-C-O-O. 
there you go. All right, so hopefully this kind of helped um, you kind of have a better understanding of molar concentrations and what the, and remembering this moles over liters, um, and even seeing how we can uh, speculate about you know what what how many moles we would need to make a certain concentration, how many liters we would need to make a certain concentration. So you can kind of use these things backwards and forwards. All right, so from here, uh, this should wrap up Chapter 5 practice. Adios, and until next time, stay weird.